You know, like they threw a brick through our door, and guess what? We won. And you say, well, how did you win, Pastor Shelley? Well, let me tell you how I won. I, I showed up, and I started cleaning up the mess, and some guy just pulls up, and he gets out of his truck, and he walks up, and he says, hey, I just wanted to let you know I work around here all the time, and I noticed your door smashed, so I called the cops. And that's who actually had notified the police that showed up, and then we found out something had happened. Well, he said, I, I, I just thought it was something weird about it. I used to get my hair cut here. It used to be a barber shop. And he's just like, hey, I just want to let you know. And so I said, oh, thanks, cool. I said, hey, do you go to church? And he's like, no. And I was like, hey, what do you have to do to be saved? And he was like, just be a good person, help people. I try to do right. You know, I'm trying to seek the Lord, but just trying to do good. And I said, well, the Bible says something different. Can I show you? And he was like, sure. So I literally just get to start. I'm standing in the glass. <laughs> you know, I'm like standing in the glass just preaching this guy the gospel. And he's like one of the most receptive people I've ever had preaching the gospel. Not only am I preaching the gospel to the guy, two people that don't like me at all decided to show up and they start harassing me and this guy. I didn't even talk to them. They start attacking me and saying, you're a hate preacher and you hate the, he hates the gay. They're like, look at this guy. He hates the gays, you know. <laughs> And they're harassing me and attacking me and verbally assaulting me for minutes. And he just sticks through it. Okay. They finally leave. And I was being just real, I was trying to be meek about it. I was trying to just be like, look, you know, I don't, I, that's, I'm trying to get this guy saved. That's a different issue. Please leave us alone, whatever. They're like, you're so wicked and evil and you're so judgmental. And I was like, are you judging me? You know, it's like. <laughs> so they finally leave. Well, then I look at the guy and I'm like, thanks for just sticking this out. I'd, I'd still like to preach this. He's like, sure, no problem. And he's like, I don't like gays. <laughs> I, was, I was like, yeah. So then I just start, and he's like, they were just a bunch of Karens anyways. So then I just keep preaching the gospel. He gets saved. Amen. I mean, look, if, if I have to get a door smashed to get someone saved, praise the Lord. That guy probably would have never gotten saved if it hadn't happened. Think about it. He wasn't going to just walk through the door. He walked through the broken door. <laughs> Not only that, the guy that came to repair the door, he saw that encounter. And he's like, hey, I saw you getting attacked by these people. Okay? And, and he's like, but I agree with you. <laughs> And I was like, do you go to church? He's like, no. <laughs> and so I started talking to him, and he gets saved. <laughs> it's like, I mean, why, why are we so afraid to preach the Bible? We get so nervous. We think that, like, God in heaven is nervous for us. Like, you better, you better not say, you better not preach the Bible down there. You better not believe my word, because... Because those, those evil little people down there, I can't control them. What, what, are, you, what are we so afraid of? Yeah, right. If God be for us, who can be against us? Yeah. 